hear that? <laughs> hey everybody, it's Winnie, and um, I am so sick right now. In my last video, um, I said I was sick. Um, I was sick and my voice wasn't bad. The next day I woke up and my voice is awful. I'm just gonna get this intro over with because literally my voice is so annoying. So, <coughs> yeah. Today I am, today I'm going to be doing Dare My Taylor Valentine's cards and gifts and room decor. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already. Um, I love you guys so much and enjoy the video. So, first we're going to take some of these fuzzy socks. These are the cat socks. These are so adorable. And we're going to make some cat socks. So, slip a cardboard piece. I just took like a magnet and slip it in the sock to make it hard. And, um, make the facial features of a cat with some gray felt or whatever color i just use gray and we're gonna make the eyes the nose the whiskers and like the little mouth like that little droopy j and glue them all on with hot glue that's what i use and i use two whiskers instead of three because i end up being a lot and repeat it on the other side and I ended up loving them. I actually gave them to Aspen along with this DIY. So it's so cute and you got to try them. Speaking of this DIY, um, let's start with this one. So you're going to need a container. I got this one from the dollar store. Some um, cardstock. I used the pink one. And first I'm starting off by removing the bow so I can put the paper on it. So I just got, put some hot glue on the front of the box, the top of the box, and put some colorful paper there. And then just trim the excess off. Um, just flip it over and you'll see all the excess and trim it off. So, trim it off, trim it off. Okay, I'm stupid, okay. Anyways, so now I'm gonna glue it on the, uh, the front of the box and just so I can write the name. And then on the top, I wrote, Today was a fairy tale, and that's Taylor Songs. If you've never heard it, you gotta go look it up. It's what's playing in the background right now. So, um, yeah, I know you love it. It's amazing. I also thought it was really relevant to uh, Valentine's Day. Like, Today was a fairy tale, like, magical, yes. And um, I also outlined it in a black border. But I found these stickers at the um, dollar store, and oh my gosh, they're so cute. Just like, it depends what song you do, but I did Today Was a Fairy Tale, obviously, and these stickers were just screaming fairy tale. And I just stuck stickers on the front. Um, on the inside, actually, I wrote, um, Happy Valentine's Day, I think. Uh, yeah, and I actually gave this to Aspen with, along with the socks for like a Valentine's Day present, and yeah, she loved it. And for this one, um, it's as simple as putting a Taylor picture on any candy you want. So I took a Micronex box and I just stuck a little Taylor picture on it with some tape. So I just took four pieces of tape and I already put tape over the picture. Then I just made a little card, wrote a little message inside, taped that on, and write a little message on the front. Um, I just wrote two Aspen from Whitney and yeah, decorated it too. I'm weird, so I had to spray my with Taylor perfume and dust it with this glittery dust. I'm weird for now, you, yeah. And it ended up looking really cute, but we won't put something inside of it. So inside, I would empty out the candy and like fill it with Taylor things, so it's like a little surprise. But I put a Taylor bracelet in it, taped it up, and wrapped a ribbon around. This is how mine ended up looking, but if you give it to a friend who doesn't like Taylor. Sarah, I got you this gift, and you're really, really gonna like it. Okay, um, what is it? It's what? It's what? Taylor Mike and X. You got me. Taylor Mike and X. And there's a little surprise in it. Please don't tell me it's Taylor. It's a Taylor bracelet. Yep. You're welcome. You are welcome. More for me. 
Anyways, yeah, that happened. But what you're going to need for this one is some string, a heart that has nothing in the middle of it, that makes sense. A Taylor picture. Taylor and mine is wearing a red dress, which is perfect for this. And, oh, some tape. So this did take me a few tries to wrap the ribbon around the heart, but I would do it on the little indent of the heart, if that makes sense. But it was hard. Finally, I found the perfect way to wrap it around, and it's just a knot, then another knot for a double knot. Yeah, totally. Then just flip your Taylor picture over and tape it down so it like sticks. And there you go, you got your little Taylor hanging heart thing, but on the back, you know, it's not as pretty as the front. So we're gonna make a little back, um, a little back, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, so I just taped a piece of paper down and put some tape like on the picture and just put the colored paper down, cut around it, and I left a little border, and then I wrote Taylor Swift on the back. And mine ended up looking like this. It can turn and it'll still say Taylor, and I hung it above my bed by my blanket and my lights. It looks so cute, and I'm literally obsessed with it. This is the room decor portion of it. So for this one, you're going to, it's like a pop-out card. It's really, really cute. Um, first, you're going to measure how tall you want your card to be. And then you're going to measure how wide you want it to be. Not really measure, just, you know, eye it. And um, fan fold it, just like I'm doing here. And now, um, I'm just going to cut the little piece off. But now it folds out, but I wanted to write Swifty, and that's not enough to write Swifty. So I'm just going to measure the same exact piece and like hold it up and then just cut it all the way through stick it inside and then fan fold it again if that makes any sense at all then just glue the extra piece we did um in the last flap you can just see what i'm doing i don't explain anything well at all but you can now take it out like fold it out and it'll be as long as you want it to be but you can cut any unnecessary pieces off Okay, now we're gonna make the cover for the card. So just fold a piece of paper. You can see what I'm doing again, not explaining it well. Folding a piece of paper over it and gluing the cover on the front of the fold out thing. But just see what I'm doing. It'll make more sense. <laughs> now we are going to make the little tab that says pull. So just make like a little half circle, half moon shape and glue it on the end of the last pull thing and just pull it and write anything you want on the little squares you can write two letters in one square but i just wrote one letter in each square and i wrote swifty all the way to the very end now it says swifty it's so cute and i love it this is probably my favorite diy and on the little tab we're gonna write pull just so they know to pull now we're gonna decorate the front, so all I did was stick a Taylor picture on with hot glue and decorate it with Sharpies. Now pull it out and your card is all finished. So that was my video for today. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. You can click it and the bell will notify you every time I upload. You should probably click it so you don't get unsubscribed because YouTube's being really weird and jittery lately. So, yeah. So, anyways, you guys, I love you. Sorry for my annoying voice again. And, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. And happy Valentine's Day. Love you guys. Bye. I can't believe I'm telling you this. <coughs> so.